Hello, Cancer. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I'll send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light. Truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of cancer? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of cancer. Please and thank you. Okay, um, so the Cancers who are already in a relationship, I'm getting that there are money problems. And I mean, everyone, well, a lot of people have been struggling lately. And I'm going to tell you what, someone in this relationship is so insecure when it comes to their financial situation that they, instead of like talking about what's going on, they're going to just shut down. So if someone has been like distancing themselves I'm getting that the issue here is, is is stemming from financial issues. They're not happy with where they're at, what they're making, but they feel like they don't have any other choice but to stay with the job that they're currently at. Um, and it's causing issues within your relationship as well. Give me one more card for this. Please and thank you. One more card. Yeah. Yeah. It's really the issue is stemming all from financial issues. Like I, some of y'all could be struggling financially. I'm getting like strongly. I don't know if it's just like one person is like picking up all of the slack. Um, Cause like now I'm getting, I don't know if any of you guys have seen that show Insecure with Issa Rae. But the beginning of the show, she was dating um, her guy and he lost his job. So she was sitting up here struggling, working extra hard. And he had, I think he had, I think at that point he had graduated from college. He just didn't have a job yet. He was still looking for one. And, but it, it kind of, it created tension within the relationship and it became toxic. The issue that I'm seeing with you guys' relationship is like finance. And that's the messed up part is when you go to college, you go to college and then after you graduate, you can't find a job. That's really frustrating and depressing when you busted your ass and then you still, you cannot find a job. But really the issue here is that if someone was to speak up instead of shutting down, but... I mean, that stems from childhood trauma where you were taught to shut up. You didn't have the right to speak up and express yourself. So someone here, instead of speaking up, they're shutting down and it's creating this tension within this relationship. If only whoever this is, if only they will speak up, I'm getting that this situation would improve and the two of you will work past this obstacle. But right now, until that person speaks up, things will only get worse. So... If it's you, speak up. If it's your person, just try to be understanding, especially if this is someone that you want to spend the rest of your life with because I'm getting someone here is like really struggling, pretty much almost like depression here. And it's just really stemming because they're not happy with their financial situation. And especially if it's a masculine energies, because a lot of masculine energies, if they... Like they feel like they need to provide and if they can't do that, then they feel like they're worthless. So just be mindful of it and um, how you're approaching this person as well. Okay, messages for Geminis who are separated from their person and uh, they have whoever they're thinking about, the person that they're separated from and that they're thinking about. Please and thank you.
okay? So I'm gonna tell you what, the person that you've been thinking about that you're in separation from, this person has been thinking about you a lot like uh, lately. They really want to know where your mind is at because the per this person sees you as someone that they can accomplish a lot with. Um, they feel like with you by their side, they can accomplish so much more. And they feel like you're their better half. Like you're the person, you the two of you think alike, you act alike, you, it, it's so much that the two of you have in common. And I'm getting that the both of you are very ambitious and goal oriented as well, but they love that about you because they're the type of person, they would rather stay single than to feel like they're with someone and this person is holding them back from achieving their goals. But they're not sure where your mind is at. They don't know what you want. I do see this person reaching out to you because they are curious as to, they're curious to know if you are interested in them and if you see this relationship headed in the same direction as they do. I'm not getting that you need to reach out to this person. I'm getting that they will reach out to you. So... messages for my single oh okay hold on shuffle this again okay messages for my single cancers mess I'm, i hope i haven't been calling you guys gemini i'm so sorry if i have but this is for cancer so messages for my single cancers please and thank you messages for my single cancers please and thank you we have two coming out. You know, single cancers, I'm seeing that you guys are doing a lot of self-reflection here. So y'all are with some of these other signs that's been coming through strongly for a lot of people. Because I'm seeing that you're in this energy of trying to figure out why relationships haven't worked out for you in the past. I am getting like you are, it's like emotional distance here. So you have people interested in you, but you are just not even interested at this time. Because I'm seeing that you're like closed off emotionally. And it's because you're in this energy of really doing some uh, soul searching here. Because... The last thing you want is to get into another relationship and to end up being disappointed like you've been in the past. So I'm getting that you're on a mission right now and love is not a part of it. But the whole point of it all is so that you will attract the right person towards you. And that's why I'm getting you understand because I'm the energy that I get from you is you know that you'll, you'll end up finding your person. You know it without a doubt. You know that you'll end up being in a relationship with that person, the person that you've been dreaming of, the person that you've um, been desiring, that energy. But you understand that there's still something within you that you need to work out because you want the right person. You don't want these people coming towards you playing these games like they have in the past. So continue to do what you're doing because you are attracting an amazing energy towards you. But I just get like this energy of you kind of like shutting the door on love temporarily, not permanently, because I do see you in a beautiful relationship, a beautiful connection, um, not, not too far off. Okay, let's see what's going on with your money. Messages regarding Cancer's money, please and thank you. Messages regarding Cancer's money, please and thank you. Messages regarding Cancer's money, please and thank you.
So there's this energy of you guys needing to be more patient because with the Knight of Wands here, there's this energy that you guys can, like you'll go for something. You'll go for, you'll begin to work on something. And then if you don't get the results as fast as you're hoping to uh, receive them or to get them, then you give up. You, you stop working on it. So some of y'all are expecting, like you have, oh, I just felt, some of y'all have um, these expectations that are not reasonable, like they're not realistic. It, it's like you're kind of hoping for overnight success and they're wanting you to become more patient because if you were to be patient and to continue to work towards something, it is going to pay off for you, but not as fast as you're trying to make it. You need to be realistic about your approach and be realistic about you getting the results that you're wanting. It's like, if you're trying to lose weight, you gain so much weight, you can't expect uh, to get results after going to the gym just one time. So they're wanting you to just be more patient and to continue to put work towards something so that it will pay off for you. Any more messages regarding cancers, work and finances, please and thank you. Some of y'all needs to be mindful of the people that you work around because I'm getting this energy of someone in particular, like taking your kindness as a weakness. Um, Cause I'm getting like someone here playing on your emotions. They know that you're a sensitive person and they're taking, they're taking advantage of that. Cause it's something about this person like manipulating a false sense of belief here. And I mean, it'll resonate with whoever it's meant to be for, whoever this message is for, but I'm not sure exactly what this is, but it's someone here. They know that you're a very kind hearted person. You don't like any chaos and any drama. Someone here could like to stir up a lot of commotion but it's, I'm getting like this person. It's almost like they manipulate you into believing these ideas and these, it's like they pretend like they have good intentions. They may even pretend like they are more Skilled as something than they actually are. And it's almost like this person could be covering up like who they truly are by being like, oh, I'm so nice. I'm so, but it's, uh, but the thing is, Cancer, I'm getting like, you have to be mindful of this person because this may be someone that like, you have like fallen victim to. I'm not, sh let me see. What is this false sense of belief about? So they do, this person believes that you're naive. They do believe that you're gullible and they can talk you into doing things. Um, they're trying to avoid answering for something. So they may have gotten caught up in something. We got three, we got four major arcanas coming out here. So this is a serious situation for someone. I'm getting like this person may be trying to avoid some karma in a particular situation. You guys could be dealing with a Libra in particular. 
and we got cancer sagittarius as well strongly but um i'm getting like this person trying to avoid getting in trouble and they may be like telling you a lie as to how a particular situation happened but they really look at you like you're gullible like you're foolish and they can talk you into believing anything so just be mindful of this person and it looks like it's a pretty serious situation with all of these major arcanas coming out Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius, but we have cardinal energy coming through. So that is you guys, Aries, Libra, and um, that I, I said, so Cancer, Aries, Libra, Capricorn. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo as well too, but it looks like someone wants to take action towards you. But someone is trying to cloud this person's decisions. Like they're... I'm wondering. Let me see. Because someone is trying to interfere with someone taking... So they could have sought, sought advice from the wrong person. Because this person is very deceptive. Right now, I can go either way. I'm definitely getting a, a particular situation for someone where someone has, and this was popping up in the recent past. So some of y'all could have already met this person. And you didn't know that this person wanted to take action towards you, but then someone intervened or interfered in this connection and began to cloud this person's judgments uh, when it came to you. But you will get communication from this person. There will be a new beginning. Um, and with the star here, so this is talking about a wish. So some of y'all are going to be really excited. This person could be in a place of, in a position of authority. But overall, this is about you guys overcoming some difficulties. I'm really getting, you don't have to do anything, Cancer, because you've already won over this person's heart. So it doesn't really matter what anyone has to say. They may be causing this person to second uh, to think twice about taking action towards you, but they're not going to stop them overall. Their love for you is going to win and they'll end up coming towards you because you'll receive some form of communication from this person that's going to bridge the gap between the two of you. I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment this reading resonates. Um, if you guys are interested in personal reading, check out my description box. But with that being said, you all take care.